On Monday, the 22nd of October, Param and I went to visit the NGV Ian Potter Art Gallery. The NGV Ian Potter Art Gallery, founded in 1861, was the first art gallery to display a strict variety of only Australian artwork. Located in Fed Federation Square, the art gallery is home to 70,000 different works of Australian art, which also includes artwork by the Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islands community. The exhibit included artwork from the 19th century to the 21st, 21st century. The sculpture first was sculpted by an Australian sculptor, Bertram Mackinall, in 1893. The medium is sculpting and the material used was bronze. The main subject matter is a woman who is a depiction of Sirs, a character from Greek mythology, who is viewed as a femme fatale. The model is of a woman standing up with both arms outstretched. She is standing on a small pedestal that has snakes around it. The artwork was made by a sculptor and the material used with bronze. There were no tools listed, but the sculptor probably used typical sculpting tools and his hands. The statue is a depiction of when Sirs turned Eos' crew into swine. Its, its style is a combination of modern and ancient. The material used was bronze, which gives it a glossy and dark look. I think it is a piece, as the moment could be described as both majestic and dark as she is turning people into swine. The most significant designs of the artwork are form and space. The form is the model of Circe. The pedestal is slightly less important, but it balances out the piece and makes it makes Circe seem more solid and secure. The model of Circe also incorporates another element, which is space, as we get a feeling of depth with her outstretched arms. The balance has the artist has used the pedestal to balance the piece, as a woman standing on her two feet lacks balance, especially if her arms are outstretched. Another principle, the artist, another principle the artist incorporated was pattern. The snake pattern is repeated throughout the piece many times. I've chosen an artwork from the 20th century, 1964 to 1965, called The King in His Counting House by New Zealand artist Colin Lansley. The King in His Counting House is a sculpture made in Sydney from materials such as wood, wire, paint, and a type of plastic known commonly as bakelite. The inspiration for the art piece happened when he and Robert Klippel found an abandoned engineering work. Although he and Klippel had different visions on the art they could create, Colin decided to go the sculpture route and created 3D pieces. His pieces increased in size and included dismantled objects like poker machines to pianos. The piece portrays a mix of different pieces joined together like an aviator engine slash grill in the middle of the piece and an umbrella at the top right of the piece, showing some type of semblance to aviation. There are some abstract figures around the piece on which I can't figure out what, this, what they specifically are, but I think it's some type of entity controlling or living in the piece as it is holding the umbrella. The Ian Potter Gallery promotes many Australian artists with artworks ranging from paintings, sculptures and digitally assisted artworks. The amount of a diversity in artworks and artists made the experience very interesting and fun as we didn't know what to expect past every corner. Although we will admit we thought it would be boring and uninteresting before we went because we thought it would be like a gallery in typical depictions with just paintings on every wall with white walls and floor. However, there were more than just paintings and the art architecture of the NGV gallery made the experience that much more enjoyable.